What is the best decade of football? Which era was the most talented? These are questions football fans have been asking forever. The only way to determine this is to take the best players from each decade, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s, and put them on the field in a tournament to determine the greatest NFL era. This is the NFL All-Decade Tournament. Previously on the All-Decade Tournament. The 80s defense has struggled with chemistry in the secondary. They've struggled with the deep ball so far in the tournament. We'll see if they can turn that around. But a big plus, the chemistry is there between Jerry Rice and Joe Montana, and that could lead to a lot of points for the 80s. The 90s defense couldn't contain Randy Moss in their first game against the 2000s. They'll be facing a tough test against Jerry Rice. A positive for the 90s, Elway was absolutely on fire in that first game. Cut off the turnovers at the end of games and you could see yourself being one and one after this one. It's the 80s versus the 90s. Montana versus Elway. Rice versus Dion. Barry versus Peyton. Let's head to the game. The 90s receive the pill and Elway takes his offense all the way down the field to the one yard line with his precise, patient passing before hitting the defense with a dose of play action, hitting Ben Coates for the score to go up seven to zero. The next drive, Montana and the 80s try to respond with six, but are stopped short on third down and are forced to settle for three. Elway looking to stretch the lead to double digits, bombs the ball down the field, but it's picked off by Mike Haynes tracking the ball down in midair, almost like he was the receiver. Don't worry though, Elway, your defense has your back. Deion Sanders comes up in the box, smacking Lofton, he loses the ball. It's picked up by Team 90s and brought back all the way to the house. That puts the 90s up 14 to three. But the 90s defense isn't the only defense making plays. Mike Singletary pounces on the loose ball caused by Mel Blunt. The 80s recover, giving great field position to its offense. The 80s offense quickly capitalizes off the turnover. Montana to Lofton for the long touchdown. Lofton redeems himself for his fumble earlier. The 90s respond almost right away with a long pass to Andre Reed over the middle and a touchdown to Shannon Sharp to give the 90s a 11 point lead with eight minutes left. But the clock doesn't scare Montana as he calmly brings his offense down the field play by play and delivers six on a pass to Art Monk over the middle. A fearless catch, making this game a heck of a lot more interesting going to the last five minutes. The 49ers attempt a two-point conversion, but Montana is sacked on the play. The 80s defense makes a quick stop and hands the ball back to Montana who comes in clutch with yet another touchdown to Art Monk, this time a long bomb catching the defense off guard. The 80s also get their two points going up three points. Montana hits up who else but his favorite target, Jerry Rice. Another situation in which Elway has to carry his team back. Fumble! Wow! The 80s pass rush gets to Elway, 
in field goal range nonetheless and take the ball all the way back to the end zone. That will do it, folks. What a game. What an ending. I'm kind of confused why the 90s didn't just run the ball and kick the field and goal and force overtime. Maybe they were nervous with Montana on the other side, but final score, the 80s win it 31-21. What a great game. Stay tuned for more of the All-Decade Tournament. It's Mitch. Peace out.